Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 19 from the New Living Translation. And it reads as follows. An offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? I'm sure at some stage in our lives we've all been there done that, worn the t-shirt. We've had friends and we've separated because one of us have taken offense and gotten upset and consequently the friendship was destroyed. And that's the thing about friendship family is they can sometimes be very delicate and very fragile things. At the end of the day, when we choose to befriend somebody, we choose to open ourselves up, open our lives up to them and allow them to see the inner parts of us that we don't always show on social media and show to you know colleagues and acquaintances. We allow them to see part of who we really are and we become vulnerable. When we choose to make ourselves vulnerable before somebody, we are opening ourselves up and consequently we are making it easier for ourselves to get hurt. And that is oftentimes why friends are a, and people that are close to us are able to hurt us the most because they know our secrets, because they know our deepest, darkest things. They know what makes us tick. They know what buttons make us get pressed and what upsets us and all these kinds of things family and that is why it speaks about a friend that is offended is harder to win back than to basically defeat a fortified city because when you're when a friend has been offended it gets to the point that those wounds are so deep that it's it's difficult for them to recover from these these wounds family I know I've been there I've done that I've worn the t-shirt in 2020 I was hurt by a friend and the wounds run deep the wounds run hurt and it was only through the counsel of other other friends. It was only through extended periods of time of prayer that those wounds were able to heal and I was able to forgive that person and, and, and make right with that person. However, you know, unless the Lord says otherwise, you know, I don't ever see myself becoming close personal friends with that person again. And that's just how it is, family. You know, as, as Christians, the thing is we need to forgive those who have upset us. We need to forgive those who have hurt us and move on. And we need to make right where we can as as well. In, in 2016, I was also hurt by some pastors and it also took a while for those wounds to heal. But I was able to heal, I was able to forgive and I was able to make right with those pastors. And even though I may no longer attend their church, I am, I am now in a place where I can be in the same room with them and chat with them and all these kinds of things, family. The relationship is generally never the same when these things have happened, unless the Lord steps in, unless the Lord intervenes and makes it even better than it was before, family, we don't know. The Lord can do that. But the, imper the important thing is that as we as Christians, that we forgive those who have hurt us. We forgive those who have offended us because we cannot afford to walk with unforgiveness in our hearts, family. The Bible says that if we cannot forgive our fellow man, how can God forgive us? So it is imperative, family, that we forgive those who offend us. And if somebody has taken offense, to something that we've done or something that we've said, whether it be a friend or anybody else, where can, where we can, family, we need to apologize and we need to try and reconcile because we also wouldn't want that person to go to hell because of the offense that we have caused in their hearts. And I know, family, that they say, you know, offense is taken and not given, and it's true, but if we have caused somebody to fall into offense by our words or by our actions, we need to try to do what we can to, to correct it, even if it's just to apologize. Like I said, you know, the friendship might never be the same again, but just apologize and do right on your side so that you can go before the Lord with a clear conscience so that you can go before the Lord and say, you know, Lord, I've apologized. I've tried to make right. And if they've taken offense, it's now on them. If they're holding me in unforgiveness, it's now on them. But we need to do whatever we can, family, to make right with that person. And if we're that person, if we're the one that's taken offense, if we've got bitterness and unforgiveness in our heart, we need to forgive those people, family. Even if, like I said, we don't become close persons, Personal friends with them again, just forgive them, just make right so that not for their sake, not for your sake, it doesn't mean just because you've forgiven them that, that what they did is right, but for the sake of your soul, for the sake of your right standing with the Lord family, forgive them. It is imperative that we do this because as I said earlier, if we can't forgive them, the Lord can't forgive us. And that's a very dangerous place to be because if the Lord can't forgive us family, we risk losing our salvation and we certainly don't want to be there. So I want to encourage you family, if you're somebody that's taken offense, if you 
you've got unforgiveness and bitterness in your heart, forgive that person. Let them go, hand it over to the Lord and make right with them and make right with the Lord. And if you're somebody that's caused offense to somebody else the way they are upset and holding you in unforgiveness, do what you can to make right with them. Apologize for whatever, even if it's just apologizing for hurting them, family. Just do what you can for your part so that you can go forward with a clean conscience as well. And as we do this, family, we will walk in right standing with fellow our fellow people. And more importantly, we will walk in right standing with God. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, there where we are harboring bitterness and unforgiveness towards anybody that has offended us, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will help us to forgive that person, to release them, to let them go, Lord, not for their sake, but for our sake, Lord, for our soul, for our right standing with you, Lord, so that as we forgive them, you can forgive us, Lord. And Lord, there where we've caused other people to be offended and that they are holding unforgiveness towards us. I pray, Lord, that you would reveal to us who this is, Lord, so that we can go to them and apologize and try to make right, Lord, so that our consciences can be clear, so that we've done the right thing, so that, so that we've shown your love towards them, Lord, so that we can go forward in right standing with our fellow people and in right standing with you. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our snaps and QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.